enjoy your space. Being a mom who is just smothered with the children and a husband all the time, really special when you can have your own time to just bop around the house naked. Even if you're not a naked person, you're not comfortable being naked, have a naked day and put on some music and have your wine on and just be ridiculous and watch some porn and just remind yourself that you're a young, sexy woman and it ain't over. This is a new chapter and embrace it. Yes. Girl, you you've got, got this. this. I want to <laughs> smack you on the ass and say, go forth, my son, but I can't. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm MJ. And I'm Bree. Welcome to the Keeping It Casual podcast. I'm married. I'm a mom, so I get it. And Lord save me because I am dating. We're more than just a sex positive dating and relationship podcast. We want to share the perspectives on every kind of relationship while giving a voice to our listeners. Plus tons of tips to boss up your life and sex life. Your Vegas girls are here for you. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> Hello, good evening. <laughs> you guys, Brie came over tonight <laughs> and was like, I started us a TikTok. I did. And I was like, okay. And she's like, get your booty shorts and your heels. We're doing the what challenge? The bus it challenge. <laughs> you can see that on our TikTok and it's on our Instagram reels. Just know that I still have the pole in the garage. Yes. And it will be in the garage until I'm 80. So. <laughs> bus it, bus it. Um, but first, before we get into the episode. Big shout out to Like a Kitten, our most fabulous sponsor yes. um, in the whole wide world because they are changing sex lives and inspiring sexuality. And they now have the Valentine's box out. Yeah. Get a sexy gift for you if you're single or a sexy gift for you and your partner if you're not. I know. You can even send it to your homegirl who's like, I need a Valentine. You know she needs the Valentine's box, which is just a lot of love in there. There's yes. fun games and, you know, all yes. kinds of cool stuff. But 20% off, too. Yes. Go to likeakitten.com and use code KEEPERS20 at checkout. And wait do you hear who won the Like a Kitten vibrator this month. We'll, we'll share. talk about that later. Yeah, yeah. So what's going on? Um. Okay. I need you to do something. <laughs> Okay. Open up your web browser. All right. And Google why graham crackers were invented. Oh, my God. All right. Hold on. <laughs> why were graham crackers invented? I need you to read this out loud to our listeners. Why were graham crackers invented? The idea behind the now popular snack was started by Reverend Sylvester Graham, a Presbyterian minister from Connecticut who was convinced that sexual urges, including masturbation, were making people physically ill and leading to <laughs> depravity. What the <laughs> Yes. Why? <laughs> what is going on here? So graham crackers were invented to stop you from fucking. By, and masturbating, obviously. Yes. Who doesn't want a good graham cracker after they've masturbated? You're like, mm, snack. But my thought is like, <laughs> sometimes a s'more is better than sex. Oh, God. Uh, you know, less is s'more. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, so I, I found this out this week. And I, I tried like, to make a joke. It didn't work. No, I liked it. I liked it. I found this out this week, and I went, I've got to talk about this on the episode and I was gonna bring it up to you and I said no 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 this just has to be revealed in a <laughs> yes in a what? very fucking weird way what the fuck man <laughs> yeah Reverend Graham and what your Graham jerk. crackers I'm, uh, guess what it didn't work out very well for you did it Reverend Graham that cracker. will now officially be my post masturbation snack <laughs> Please. <laughs> or maybe you have to do it beforehand because you're supposed to, it was supposed to control the urge of sex. How? I don't know. Because carbs just bog you down and make you feel I don't tired. Know. Cinnamon graham crackers are delightful, though. They sure are. Vivian likes to dip them in yogurt. I like to dip them in <laughs> all cool, the preschoolers were cool with. the preschool. But, um, <laughs> <laughs> fantastic. Oh all right. So, um, I had to buy a car seat this week, too. I know. Chris just installed it. So, <laughs> what's going on with that? <laughs> I called her. I was like, um, can you guys help me install a car seat? I love that she got like the one with colors. Ours are like gray. Yeah, you know, he's like well, red. And so I, I um sometimes you found the one with flair. Yeah, <laughs> I don't like to talk about my flair. Sometimes I have to nanny for my boss. <laughs> <laughs> Daughter likes car rides and McDonald's French fries and powdered donuts. That sounds like you are a mom. <laughs> so um, you got it, mom. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So um sometimes I nanny for him. So because she likes car rides, I need a car seat. So just in case she just wants to go on a car ride, I and just, just in case anything happens, like nobody's watching my kids without a car seat because exactly. they need to be able to rush off wherever they need to be exactly i i mean i don't know i'm not an expert in children by any means necessary but i have all the things here that you may need and we can bring them over i'll even bring my children so they can all play together if you like that might be a good idea yeah yes be my mom friend brie <laughs> oh god the best thing was me trying to buy a car seat 
I was texting my friend who I, I, I for some reason I think you were you were not <laughs> like, why weren't you texting me I think you were not available okay at that moment okay I think you were actually being a mom I don't oh, know okay you know doing that mom thing okay so I was texting my other friend who is a mom because I'm standing at Walmart staring at all these car seats very overwhelmed oh god I imagine even I was do they go by weight do they go by age do they go by this and she goes all of the above oh <laughs> <laughs> majority with weight weight 40 to 100 pounds i was like all right cool this is the car seat sounds good yeah <laughs> parents uh props to you what was so funny is because chris put it in and chris was like which side do you want it on and i was like this one because i'm gonna be easy it's gonna be easier if i have to turn diagonal around. Yeah, yeah so you can turn around and kind of see her cor- yeah, yeah across from you yeah yeah and he goes i guess yes. and i was like you're the parent here i don't know <laughs> <He's> the dad <laughs> he doesn't think of those things dads don't think of those things dads get to be fun they and do. moms have to be assholes i know I'm like thanks for making me the bad cop always <laughs> yeah but that's it for us though we're, oh. we're done no, done with the children don't let them outnumber you don't let the children oh, outnumber you no. for, as for me um <laughs> i still don't have kids but I think a lot of people are like so comfortable having the three and four these days like it's no big deal and i give props to anybody that can handle that you I have friends that, like we have friends actually because cassie's yeah. cassie's my friend too yeah. uh sassy cassie creations yeah they're like the brady bunch over there they have eight eight children and you know what they're both young and hot and fun and fun they're always fun and i'm like why are you guys always <laughs> having so much why are you guys so fun eight Eight kids? <laughs> yeah. I think it's a difference when you like grow up having kids, like having kids out of high school. Oh, I mean, yeah. I had start kids young. in my mid 30s because I was like, I need to be the selfish wild woman that I always planned. And you know what? But that was my plan. Though. And that's my plan too. Yeah. Like, I, well, you know, I'm not trying to have kids right at this very second, but if they happen, they happen. If they You're don't, still they don't. younger than I was when yeah. I had kids. Exactly. So, so but like, I, at the same going. time, it's just like, if I would have had a kid in my 20s, yeah. I would have been an asshole parent. Ugh. Like, like, not. And I don't mean like, cause I'll, I mean, sure. Everybody feels like an asshole parent. Yeah. I think I would have been like, uh, mom, you can raise this thing while I go do my thing type oh, of God. parent. You know what I mean? It's, it's so different for everybody, but I just admire people that can just be so like, I don't know. I think when you grow up with your kids a lot in your 20s, you do have a more like lighthearted balance around your children. Yeah. I don't know, but I am just like, ah, mommy needs me time because I'm no, used to I having my need, me time. I think you need that period. <laughs> yeah. This is going to sound so stupid the way I'm, what I'm referring to, <laughs> but I watched the Banger Sisters this week. I have that on DVD and it's phenomenal. And did you know that Susan Sarandon's daughter? Yes, I did. Yes. She's great. And what I love about it too is like Kate Hudson was Penny Lane in the 60s. -hmm. And I feel like Goldie Hawn is who she became. Oh, yeah. You're right. Yeah. Anyway. If you haven't seen Banger Sisters, but there's a scene in the movie when Susan Sarandon says, I've been so busy, you know, taking the dog for the shots and pruning the plum trees and doing this and doing that and taking you for this and going to soccer and doing this and doing that, that I lost myself. Yeah. that's the thing is like everybody needs their me time dads need to whatever dudes do yeah play video games yeah well you know what i told him that too because um you know when we put them to bed every night we always put them to bed together we read them their books and stuff and sometimes that shit can take like a half hour 45 minutes you're like what is going this bedtime routine's exhausting and i told him i said you know what you need a break some nights you don't have any downtime to do anything for yourself and i've told him this before but i really put my foot down i said you need to just go to bed tonight i said it's like seven o'clock why don't you go in the room watch whatever the fuck you want to watch i'll take them care of them put them in bed and he was like you know what i'm gonna take you up on that i go and don't feel he just doesn't want to feel like oh i'm i'm not out. doing my part yeah yeah and he actually you know a couple nights this week he just went to bed Good. early because and watched shows uh, because like, i'm time for yourself too because he works super early so yes he does by the time it's bedtime he's probably cranky he is and i'm like can you go and then to it your makes, room now and then it makes bedtime even worse yeah. because the kids are like oh well, dad's you know whatever yeah yeah he gets tired and he's just short but i also just realized i'm like chris when you get yeah. home you don't have much time to decompress just some wine even if you're playing video games the kids are hanging out and they're still yeah. up your butt i decompress at night you guys all go to bed i'm like i'm gonna watch a show Good. i'm gonna do late night yoga whatever yes. the fuck i want to do yes i'm gonna pig out a little bit whatever kind of mood i'm in smoke some weed i want to smoke some weed whatever that makes me groggy in the morning when i smoke late at night i kind of stopped doing that oh i, I have to it. um because i've been doing dry january yeah smoking I've, the gunch uh well since i got my lips done i can't smoke <gasps> Oh, and we got to talk about that too. Um. Well, we'll get to that in a second. <laughs> um, but since I got my lips done, I can't smoke. So I've been doing edibles at night. Oh, my yeah. anxiety has been really weird at night. And I, I haven't been wanting to sleep. 
Really? It's just like... You're worried you're not going to get up early on and be at work on time? I don't know what it is. <laughs> Honestly, like, my boss is pretty lenient about wh- what time I can come into work. Yeah. As long as I'm there before, like... T- if I got there at, like, 10, he'd probably be like, what the fuck are you doing? But yeah. as long as I'm there by, like, 9, he's cool. And okay. I work so much closer to my house. It's a 10-minute drive. Like, yeah. my mornings have become so much easier. Like, I have time in the morning now. I don't feel like I'm just running out of bed to get ready. Yeah. I digress on that. Um, <laughs> no, I think we can... A lot of us can relate. Even before... Before... more than before last year we could all we all had to get up and get the fuck out of the house and run to work yeah <laughs> i don't have to get the fuck out of the house right now but um i don't know what my my sleep anxiety is like because i'm not a morning person i'm a night person i'm a night mm-hmm. owl and i like lay in bed and i'll be like god i just want to be doing something else yeah <laughs> you know what i mean oh god i know sometimes i have to put on like a sleep meditation mm-hmm. cruise like sleep meditation and wake up motivated and i was like listening to it and i feel like i drifted off and all of a sudden i heard like a snap or a clap. I think it wasn't a meditation. It was a hypnosis. Oh, shit. And I like, woke up. I was like, what the fuck? I, think, <laughs> I felt like I was falling. I don't know. It was so weird, though. But yeah, so maybe that's why I have weird dreams because I've been doing a lot of edibles before bed. <laughs> yeah, it could be. It could be. But yeah, if I smoke weed before bed, I wake up super groggy. And I'm only noticing this like 20 years after smoking. <laughs> I'm like, I'm starting to notice the effects like the next day if I don't. You know, I'm like, oh, I'm super cranky today. I'm just going to short fuse or something. Yeah. You yeah. Know. No, I get it. Or oh, weird habits habits we start to understand like i honestly think i just want to be awake i think i just don't want to sleep at night because i'm either. used to being a night owl yeah you know as of last year when i was unemployed i was back to my late night mm-hmm. late night self but now i'm back on like a day schedule and i'm like oh i'm just not in need for day schedules but you know what it is i think it's the same thing like yeah. even with your even if you have parents you still need downtime if yeah. it's just like work you know yeah. come home eat into that same routine yeah. you just want to kind of break out of your weird little routine every yeah. once in a while and just do something like i would love to be at the beach i bought okay here's <laughs> here's something dumb i did wishful thinking um i bought some bathing suits off of Shein because yeah i'm like i'm going to the beach this year you yes. know hell yeah i like that <laughs> i like that a lot it's happening i don't care i broke out my bikini yesterday because the kids wanted to get in the hot tub i was like good fucking idea let's do it it was like two in the afternoon I'm that's like, how i felt jumping okay. on the trampoline the other day yeah <laughs> i got stranded at my boss's old house long story he has no service up there because it's up in like anthem hills which is like a really ritzy area mm-hmm, y'all mm-hmm. but there's no there's no cell service that's where celine there. dion lives and where j-lo stayed when she had a residency yeah yeah <laughs> yeah if you saw this ha- like what the, his old house has a juliet balcony overlooking mm-hmm. the foyer the master is like one half of the house i was there waiting for the movers because the movers were like two hours late and he was like well i guess you can use the trampoline and i was like i know you're joking but you bet your ass i'm gonna <laughs> jump on that trampoline <laughs> so i jumped on the trampoline check her tiktok at Bremen. Mixed. Yeah, actually, I did make a TikTok video about it. I didn't want to take my shoes off at first, so I was in heels jumping on the trampoline. What the hell? 86 from our trampoline house over here. Well, his trampoline's cool. It's like in the ground. I've seen that on this little side note for parents that have kids that watch YouTube, this A for Adley show. It's very cute. But anyways, they have a trampoline in the ground. I was like, what the fuck is this? It's like flat with the ground. Yeah, it's so cool. I just walked on there at first. I was like, maybe I'll just sit on the trampoline and bounce. Maybe I'll just figure out what's actually under this trampoline with my big heels on. <laughs> it was just, it was like a heeled, in it. it was like heeled boots. I wasn't wearing stilettos. I'm not that terrible. They get in, they're on the roller skates on the trampoline. Yeah. Even I tell them not to, so they're durable. Yeah, exactly. And then so I took my <laughs> shoes off and I jumped on the trampoline for probably 10 minutes and I forgot what a workout jumping on the trampoline is. I know. Yeah, anything I can make a workout, I'm like, as soon as I get on the trampoline, I'm like, this is fun. We could do a workout. Hit drills. I'm already on it. Let's do it. I wasn't doing hit drills, but I was doing like, like um like like punches i was like hey i'm one and two and like trying to bring the the side ab i don't know i guess i did make it into a workout what the See, fuck can we just like can we just have fun everybody needs to do something that breaks them out of their routine okay we're all in a rut we're all in routines go like, jump on the fucking trampoline do something silly like when the kids were like can we get in the hot tub i almost was like no because it's tuesday and it's two o'clock and we should be miserable <laughs> <laughs> but i was like you know what fuck yeah so you know find I, your fuck yeah moment find your fuck yeah moment you know what i did (laughs) why not another fuck yeah moment i had this week i um i i'm really into the musical hamilton right now which is so funny because i was anti-hamilton i've never seen it it, it's actually pretty fucking cool is it good it's it's all it's all rap 
I like Lin Manuel. I, and he's fly as hell. Do but you know if, I first saw him on Sesame how, Street. I was gonna say How I Met Your Mother is the first time I saw him. Oh yeah, he I was in one that. episode of How I Met Your Mother. Okay. The the music's kind of fly, but the guy who plays Thomas Jefferson, I like watch him, and he is like Andre three thousand smooth. Ooh, like, yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Exactly. Cooler than a polar bear's toenails. Uh huh. That's what anyway. I said to Andre three thousand when I met him. Long story. We'll get to that another day episode. <laughs> another episode. <laughs> yeah. So I was like, I I really like the soundtrack. I really like the musical, and I was so anti-Hamilton at first I was anti-Hamilton I just didn't care about it especially because <laughs> you you texted me one day and you're like my mom wants to know if she could use your Disney plus password to watch <laughs> Hamilton and I was like oh this can't be cool if moms are watching it <laughs> that's what I told myself uh, and I, then finally one day I broke down to watch it and I was like oh this is pretty fucking cool so I really like the soundtrack so I did a workout routine to this fucking soundtrack you would but you're the type that would do a musical soundtrack workout but there's YouTube workout all up <laughs> to the soundtrack. I was just scrolling through YouTube workouts yes. and it was like Hamilton soundtrack hit. And I was like, 30 minutes of the Hamilton soundtrack with high end hit. Okay, let's do this. And then <laughs> I, I was like, oh, this is cool. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what is the standout song? There's one that's like, I am not throwing away my shot. I am not throwing away my shot. Okay. Ayo, I'm just like my country. I'm young, scrappy, and hungry, and I'm not throwing oh. away my shot. She's listened to the whole. She's downloaded the soundtrack on Spotify, and she's listening to it on the way home tonight. I do. I, I, I have listened <laughs> to it a lot. But that one, that one's cool. And then there's another one that the guy who does Thomas Jefferson. This is why I say he's like smooth. What did I miss? <laughs> what did I miss? And then this is what really cracked me up about it. They go to Congress to like do their cabinet battles or whatever but instead of doing that he does them as rap battles nice yeah. okay i'm there <laughs> yeah i might just watch this I might go hang out with my mom be like mom let's watch hamilton you can watch it with me too okay all right <laughs> you know my mom is so jealous that she she met you once at my baby shower at for logan's Logan. Bacon baby shower so yeah. that's three and a half years ago yeah. <laughs> and she's like but you had so many friends there and i didn't really get to meet anybody she's like she's your best friend and i never met her i'm like well come over <laughs> i know <laughs> <laughs> like, all right. <laughs> I know, and then, like, I'm she's good friends jealous. with your sister, Trish, too, so she's like... <laughs> I know, and, like, I know, your parents are, like, my homies, me yeah. and your mom are like, what's up? <laughs> it's true. <laughs> my mom will be like, you want to come do dabs with me? We're a couple of fucking... <laughs> like, I can't hang with your mom. Your mom's too tough for me. My mom is too tough for me. I'm like, how are you uh, How are you doing dabs? And I'm like, I eat, like, a little corner of an edible, and I'm out. I'm she's, supposed to be the experienced donor here. a trip, man. Your mom is a trip. We're both Pisces, too, so we, we get it. Their but... birthdays are three days apart from each other. All right, so we got on, the, on another level, we got an advice email. We did. And FYI, before she breezes over it, Bree's lips look amazing. Oh, and, yeah, I forgot about but that. They look, and I want, I, I love when I say they look so natural, but I, I like to say super a lot. I'm like, they look super natural, like, but they look. They're spooky tits. They just look like a little, hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just, just like a little, a little plumper. Ooh, they, but they look fabulous. Yeah. They look so natural on yeah. you and beautiful. And I'm I'm all for it. Beverly Advocate. Hills Rejuvenation Center. Okay. I got the Restylane Kiss. Ooh. I didn't do, I don't know what the other one is. But the Restylane Kiss is softer, so it feels like lips. It's not all hard and like, oh, Juvederm's the other one. It looks so, it just, I wouldn't Juvederm even know. If you didn't tell that, anybody, yeah. nobody would know. They'd oh, no, trust like, me. Oh. Our Samantha Jones, I saw her a oh. few days ago. And I was like, what do you think of my lips? And she goes, wait, did you get them done? And I was like, yes. And she was like they look so natural i know i, I like, love mm, it just I, so luscious anyways you guys big fan big fan <laughs> i'm a big fan too if, you're, if you've been contemplating it go for it do it. it like honestly there's some minor swelling and bruising but i'm over a week and you showed me like a day later and they were fine yeah exactly <sighs> y'all it's great Jealous. i just fully suggest getting your lips done i'm just sitting here like it. like doing the duck lip like like when i talk to her <laughs> <that's what> <laughs> <laughs> just want to kiss you okay hit me with the advice email. advice all right What's going on yes my advice is go get lip injections <laughs> um okay so advice email all right, who's ready for the monthly Keeping It Casual swag giveaway? All of our giveaways are done the last Wednesday of every month. And all you have to do to enter is rate and review on Apple Podcasts or join our Patreon for a bonus chance to win. Thank you to our sponsor, Like a Kitten, for donating this month's gift. That's right. And the winner is... Jill RK87. Okay. Love this pod. I love the way the two hosts interact. This is a fun, fearless 
parentheses and real in parentheses podcast. So Jill, go ahead and email us your address to feedback at keeping it casual podcast.com. And make sure you go online to like a kitten.com and you get to choose from one of two fabulous vibrators, the fly me to the moon or the hidden treasure. So pick your fave, tell us what you want and it'll be on your way. And at like a kitten right now, they have the Valentine's day box available. So if you can't wait to win a treat, go to like a kitten.com and use code keepers 20 at checkout. And that'll give you 20% off at checkout. Now back to the show. I'm a woman in my mid-40s. My daughter is in her 20s and just moved out of the house. For her entire life, it was her and I because her father left when I was pregnant with her. It was for the best because that relationship was toxic. Still, I say he was the love of my life. No! Mm -mm. The point to this email is, I am now a 40-something who hasn't dated much in over 20 years. I worry that my baby daddy was the one great love and I don't have anything else to offer any other man. Oh, stop. Oh, God. But I want a boyfriend and I miss sex. How do I start dating again after a 20 year rut? Picturing like a mom and daughter, like when you don't have a father, you guys are like the yeah. homies, right? Yeah. It's yeah. It's gotta like, be like f- grieving a breakup yeah, I almost. Think, I'm assuming that's what it says. Like it was just her and I. Yeah. So you're Aww. having a little bit of in- empty nest syndrome, I'm assuming. And we were just talking about being 20 and having kids. Mm-hmm. So she's 40 something as a 20 yeah. year old. So yeah. you probably lived your whole life as a mom and now you're yeah. like, what the fuck do I do? And okay. Sorry. That relationship was toxic. He's not your one great love. No, he's not. He gave you your one most precious thing in the world. But Which is your child. Yes. Honey. You're still young. Yeah, you're 40s still in your 40s. Fucking sexy time. Can you imagine, like, I mean, everybody says, like, your 30s is when you blossom sexually, but I feel like your 40s, you still got a lot of popping going on. I feel like your 30s are, like, doing your 20s again, but with some smarts. Yeah. And then your 40s, I don't know, I just turned 40 this year, so my 40s are, like, doing my 30s again, and this time I fucking know. You know what I mean? Like, what I'm like. What does Sarah Jessica Parker say in the Sex and the City movie? Your 20s are to learn the lessons. Your 40s are to pay your for 30s, the Your 30s are to reap the benefits or, and your 40s are to pay for the drink something yeah. like that yeah 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 i'm hoping pay for the drinks means because you are successful financially <laughs> well i mean look at her no but i would say like you pay for the drinks because you look at that 20 something and you're like honey let me take you out yeah um, let me buy you a drink and give you some advice okay i, I would say that's what yeah. your 40s are I, I hate when people are like oh my gosh i'm in my 40s it's not the end of the world it's funny you say sex with the si- sex in the city because i was watching an interview on youtube last night with samantha jones and she said when I was 40 that's when she started doing the show yeah. she goes and at the time I was an actress she goes that was like being a dinosaur it was like be the crazy mother or the yeah. weird aunt or the district attorney you know yeah. stuff like that she goes and when Darren Starr told me no you are perfect for this role she's like Cause she was just sexual she's yeah. like, not the sexy babe anymore she goes you're wrong you are sexual you are on fire mm-hmm. you are vibing this is your role and I was like I fucking like that I do like, too I really like that he said that because he's like you don't have to be some young 20 something no. which honey rock it when you're 20 you know what I'm saying but when you're 40 it's like a whole new thing to experience and you are just as incredible and now you have the time to actually get to know yourself be the Samantha Jones that you always admired <laughs> Yeah, and not to just, like, keep piling up on some like a kitten, but, honey, get a box because that will inspire all your sexual energy, okay? (laughs) 20% off, too. Yeah, I'm assuming you probably, you say you miss sex. No, you probably haven't spent a lot of time figuring out who you are as a sexual partner, Mm -hmm. who you are as a sexual being. You have time to do this now. That's so exciting. First Wives Club is one of my all-time favorite movies. (sighs) Another great DVD I have. (laughs) Yes, but I hate that she's like, I'm 45. Like, 45 is not the end of the world. People are living till they're 105. Well, look at Gwen Stefani. I mean, I always Fucking, just refer yeah, back. Yeah, Gwen Stefani's in her 50s and just... J-Lo. Come God. on. Janet Jackson had a kid in her 50s. Jesus. God, please don't let that be me. We I can do... <laughs> 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 we can do it all, ladies. We can. And you know what? You know what? My best piece of advice? Go on Tinder and get you some strange... <laughs> Seriously. You know what? Have I, a hot one night stand. And I, I, I think um, I was actually talking with a friend last week who hasn't hooked up in a long time. And some guy hit on her at the gym and she had sex for the first time in like a year. Good for her. Yes. Good for her. But she was like, I almost didn't know what to do. Like I was very, she goes, I feel like I'm horny all the time. I masturbate and stuff. And I said, you know what? It's funny. In our episode with Muses last yeah. night, Shanti brought up Erica Lust. And I haven't thought of that in a long time. Yeah. And it's like a very tasteful porn site where she does like these really erotic Films. 
confessions. Was, there was something in our email that was like X confessions. Yes, I did sign up so we get one free movie. <laughs> okay, yes. that's what it is. Yes. <laughs> and I, I feel like it's just like tasteful porn. You yeah. know, sometimes you go on porn just to, I really go on there to get off. I'm not getting on there to like learn tips and shit. No, you know I'm not. I'm, I'm like, I just want to see, a, yeah. I want to see that going into that. <laughs> and I'm using my wand real quick. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Exactly. Bye. But I feel like just going on to something more tasteful and just getting yeah. you into the mood and reminding you how to touch somebody or how, what how did to she receive want to she pleasure. Said being intentional in your Inten- intimacy. Intentional intimacy. And intentional I loved it so intimacy. much. Ugh. We should do a whole episode on intentional intimacy. I Maybe that's what so. y'all are going to get for Valentine's Day from us. Oh, I love it. Yes. It's already sold out. It's already sold out. Some intentional intimacy with yourself. Yeah. And I, and I also think, oh. Ooh, it's super windy by the fire, guys. Uh, but I also think it's a great time to just, like, enjoy your space. Being a mom who is just smothered with the children and a husband all the time, it's just really special when you can have your own time to just bop around the house naked. Even if you're not a naked person, you're not comfortable being naked, have a naked day and put on some fucking music and have your wine on and just be ridiculous and watch some porn and just remind yourself that you're a young, sexy woman and it ain't over. This is a new chapter and embrace it. Yes. <sighs> You know how many people would want that life right now? <laughs> and yeah. I and I think there's a new bond of friendship you can form with your daughter too now yeah. that she's moving out. Like this is gonna be a really cool new chapter. Yes. Girl, you you've got, got this. this. <laughs> I wanna smack you on the ass and say, Go forth, my son, but I can't. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. I think that's it. I think we're gonna wrap. This has been a fun catch up and until next time. Bye. bye. <laughs> <laughs> Want to be featured on the show? Email us. Feedback at keepingitcasualpodcast.com. Want to win cool stuff? Just rate and review us on Apple Podcasts to get into our monthly giveaways. Last Wednesday of every month. And for more specialty podcasts and bonus content, join us on patreon.com slash keepingitcasualpodcast. Show you're a keeper on Facebook. You can like the page and join our group. Tweet at us at KIC Pod or Instagram at keepingitcasualpodcast. You can find me anywhere at MJ Radio Diva. And I'm everywhere at Remixed, B-R-E-E-M-I-X-E-D. And for your one-stop shop, keepingitcasualpodcast.com. Bye. Bye.